Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to do a book tag. I know that book tags are not particularly in vogue right now, but I a little while ago I was doing um, zapping through the internet and to and through um, booktube and seeing fun book tags to do from different um, book, booktubers and from different countries you know um, and as I'm, I don't have a really reading baggage till this moment some book tags are a bit hard to do because I don't have so many books to choose from, you know what I mean? So I, I have some of them that I uh, kept in my computer, so I, I, I saved the, the questions. I did a, a Word document and I saved and I put who was the original um, video from. And I come across this one that I think is, is really simple, is nothing fancy or anything or really complex or... But you know, I think book tags are fun to do sometimes and I think this one is also for you or for me in this case to give you some particularities about my reading because this book tag is reading habits so this was the original video was from Ariel Bisset I'm going to leave her channel and her video down below so you to check it out um, and this has 11 questions and as the title you may have read by now of course so this is all about reading habits and everything related to reading so I thought this was a well a fun book tag although simple but in at the same time it's the book tag that I I'm able to do right now uh, so because as I was saying in other book tags I don't have answers to every question and sometimes that's a bit is if it's one or two okay but if it's more than that what's the fun in that right so i think this one i can answer all the questions and give you more info about my reading habits um so yeah let's go so first question do you have a certain place at home for reading and well i think i do sometimes well most of the time is in my couch so i love to read or in the morning if i have time or during weekends usually or uh, at the end of the day so at the end of the day more night or evening should i say um and it's the couch. Sometimes I read in bed, but that's not, I don't do that. I don't go to bed to read so many times. So yeah. Second question, bookmark or rather random piece of paper? So I have to say that I have now um, a collection of bookmarks. They are not fancy or anything, they are really plain and simple. Some of them was, um, were gifts um, from the, the, the publishers, like when I do a purchase, they at least, I think it was one of them, yeah. They send some bookmarks, so they have, um, I, have I can show you. So like this one, this is from Virginia Woolf, as you can see this is very simple but they are 
um, similar to this, they have different authors in it, the picture of the author and the name. So then I have um, bookmark bookmarks like this one that came in the book. So this is from Marie Antoinette from Stefan Zweig. You can put it like that. This is in Portuguese, but I suppose you can understand. Um, so, and I like to, so when I read the book, I take the bo bookmark of the book and I put it <laughs> in this cup that I bought. This is plastic. So I, I thought it was fun to have a cup for my bookmarks and it wouldn't be um, a porcelain cup. It will, it will be very heavy and I wanted to put it in my shelves. So I wanted something more that wouldn't break or anything. So I bought this one. And so I don't have really beautiful bookmarks. So something that I'm planning to do is when I travel, I saw some people like going to Paris and buying beautiful bookmarks of the some monuments of the city and some some place of, of some place like Shakespeare and company or something and I I'm wondering uh, when I travel perhaps I can do that as well and keep a collection of travel bookmarks like uh, representing the places where I've been that will be nice but I don't really travel abroad so usually or well I'm from Portugal as you know so the only place internationally that I have been is Spain <laughs> so for you to see I didn't travel so much so yeah okay third question can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter a certain amount of pages so usually what I prefer to do is to end in a chapter so um, or end when they have spaces between texts um, I like to stop uh, like to the end of a chapter or in uh, when there is a space in text but unfortunately <laughs> at least for the more recent times and more recent books that I have been reading um, I, I've been stopping in the middle of a chapter so what I try to do is to stop at the end of a page so that and then I have to remember if I ended in the left page or the right page but then the thing that happens all the time is that I have to to go back and read um, a bit before so that I can remember the context that I was reading and then well continue after that so you know so it's a mixed but if they are really long chapters I stop in the middle yeah because I'm not the kind of person that can read for a very long time unless I'm really enjoying the book but usually I don't do that so I make I do pauses regularly and I stop in the middle of chapter so yeah okay fourth question do you eat or drink while reading so my answer is no when I want to eat or drink something I stop reading and I put down the book and I go do do so so I don't I'm not at the same time drinking or eating and reading I don't do that <laughs> perhaps some of you can do that but I don't really I don't know being with something and eating and reading at the same time and then turning the page and it's very difficult for me so uh, no I don't do that 
Fifth question, multitasking, music or TV while reading? Again, no. <laughs> I can't read the book with, um, well, sometimes I read the book and the TV is on, but it has to be in a really low volume because if it's really loud or really like in a normal kind of volume, in a normal level volume, um, sometimes I get distracted and I'm in the middle of reading and after a while I come to pay more attention to what is being said in the television than what I'm reading. So, and the same thing with music. If I have music, if I like the music, if it's catchy or if I know the song, I get distracted because then I'm singing in my mind the lyrics and not paying attention to what I'm reading. So, no. Sixth question. One book at a time or several at once? Uh, so, usually I read more than one book at a time. So, right now I'm reading three books. Well, I want to say that I can read them a bit of every one of them in a single day, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So I read uh, one, a few pages of each book in each day. But other times when I have more time, I can read like as right now, Sunday, right? So I can read uh, 30 pages of each, for instance. So I can pick up the, the three of them in the same day. So it depends if I have more or less time. So, yeah. Okay, seventh question. Reading at home or everywhere? So I'm picking up the habit of bringing uh, a book with me wherever I go. Or if I know that I will have... Um, waiting time i i want to have a book with me so i can you know get along with my reading and also don't be bored um so i i would say everywhere um i really like to go to the the beach or go near the beach i should say and be like in the car watching the ocean and reading. That's my favorite thing. So yeah, everywhere, I, I will say. Eighth question. Reading out loud or silently in your head? I don't have the habit of reading out loud. So silently is my normal way of reading. I sometimes I will read out loud when I was studying like I would read the pages out loud so I could have a bit of a ritual to remembering things but that that was when I was studying so um, for the books of fiction and non-fiction that I read right now I don't I I I, I, I <laughs> I was going to say I don't usually do that, but I never do that, so silently. Ninth question. Do you read ahead or even skip pages? <laughs> I had the habit of when a particular scene in a book was really um, exciting or really tense and I wanted to know how we, how will it how can I say this? How what how 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 it go was going to end? I will read ahead. So just for to see if everything is going to end up all right, or if um, it, it was going to end up as I wanted to. So I will do that, and I re read ahead and then come back and read everything till the the <laughs> the end up scene or the end scene but 
uh, right now I don't do that. So I, I keep myself from um, reading ahead. So I want to read everything and I'm there tense and um, excited with the scene and I'm reading and I wait. So, and I wait till I reach the moment where the scene is completed. So yeah, well, if I skip pages, yes. So I don't, I can say that I don't usually do that. So I, I only do that if I'm seeing or I'm feeling that the author is stalling the story and putting filler in his story, like for instance, Les Miserables by Vitor Hugo. I said this many times now, but yes, I skipped pages in Les Miserables. So, and that was because it wasn't adding anything to the main story and it was really filler. So, and at the same time, it was about history, but it was invented. So it wasn't like you were having a history lesson or it wasn't like you would be learning something new or something more about history. So that wouldn't be the case. So because of that, I was so bored. Um, and if I didn't skip pages, probably I, I would have DNF the book. So for that, in particular, for particular reasons and in particular times, in a particular book, yes, I skip pages. Okay. So, 10th question. Breaking the spine or keeping it like new? So I love breaking the spine. <laughs> is something that I can say that a, a few months ago, I should say, or like last year or something like that, I would do for breaking the spine. Now I don't do that, but eventually, as, as long as I'm reading, they end up breaking and I don't mind because it means that I read the book and that I went through it all. So, and for most of my books, they are secondhand, so they arrive with the spine broken already. Um, and I don't mind, I, I don't have a problem with a book being a bit used or a bit damaged. Um, of course, that I have some standards for my secondhand books. I don't like them to be so old or so yellow. I don't like yellow pages or spots on the pages, um, but if they have broken spines or the cover is not so neat or something like that, I don't mind. So yeah. And the last one, 11th question, do you write in your books? Well, I highlight my books uh, usually with um, not with a marker but with a pencil I'm I bought um, a set of markers or highlights in markers but <laughs> I'm with a bit of um, indecisiveness if I want to highlight my books that way because it's not erasable, you know. And what if I make a mistake or what if that is not the thing that I wanted to highlight or ends up not being something that I wanted to remember or even what if I want to sell the book, you know, that the price comes down if it's highlighted. I never sold any of my books and I don't intend to do that, but you never know, right? So I'm a bit on the fence of highlighting with a marker, but well, 
But the question was if I write in my books. And no, I don't have the, the habit of doing so. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, if I'm, for instance, if I'm reading in English um, and I don't know the meaning of a word, I usually write a meaning, I go search for the meaning and I write, I write it above or below the, the word. So in that instance, I do write in my books. But, you know, writing thoughts or commentaries or like even drawing something, I don't usually do that. I just highlight with a pencil and I put um, a post-it in the page. So, but yeah, I can say that I write in my books because there are instances, as I explained, where I do that. So, and if I... I have the feeling that if I one day want to put a commentary or a thought, I I will do that in a pencil, with a pencil, not with a pen. <laughs> a pen is too permanent. So, yeah. Okay, so I answered all the questions and I hope you found this enjoyable and useful in some way perhaps useful is really strong but you know enjoyable i hope you answer these questions i don't know in a video format if you want to or uh, in the comments down below i would love to hear from you and also read um, how are your reading habits it's also it's also Oh my god, it's always fun to see other people's habits because I have a pet peeve. I don't like people, I, no, I shouldn't say like that. I don't like when people say, for instance, that they don't use a bookmark and they do dog ear in the books. No, I don't bend my pages at all i don't like the how do you say it i don't like the crease that you do when you do dog ear in a page i don't like to so i don't mind if the book is damaged outside of in the cover or in the or in the spine but in the in the core of the book like in the pages i don't like them to be damaged yeah i have a bit of um of a thing with it and for instance this this tag was originally invented by ariel Bisset, and i i remember watching a video of her and she's saying that sometimes she wouldn't even do dog ear she would simply close the book and when she would come back to it she would try to figure out where she was more or less and reading in a page where she thought she stopped reading prior so I was like come again how do you do that <laughs> no I don't think that's a good strategy but you know for each their own so please tell me about you i would love to know and see if some of you also have this type of habit or something so much different so let me know and yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications Leave a like, it helps out the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one.